in the lands of Zara. The humans of Koopa Keep struggle to stay alive as they are attacked by the wicked drow elves of Larnia. Darkness falls as the humans beg their king to save them, a noble king known only as the Grand Wizard. For a thousand years, the battle has been waged, with only the bravery of the Grand Wizard to protect his human followers. But even though the Wizard King is so undeniably cool, the Drow Elf armies continue their attacks. They seek the human's most treasured relic, the Stick of Truth. But the tides of war soon change, as news of a new kid spreads throughout the land. In order to save the humans, the Grand Wizard must get to the new kid, before the Drow Elves can manipulate his land and use him to take the sacred relic from human hands. For whomever controls the state, controls the universe. Hi everyone, you're watching a lifelike gamer let's play. This is South Park The Stick of Truth and I'm playing it on Xbox 360. Uh, special thanks to my wife for helping me edit these videos and for the work she's done on my logo. This is going to be my first Let's Play, so feel free at any point to give me any suggestions or to just extend any anything you think, anything you want to see or anything that you think might help me do better. Feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. And... Uh, and if you enjoy what you see, feel free to like and subscribe the video. My name's Lifelike, and um, and yeah. I I played the game for about an hour already, just to to get a feel for the game before I I started recording my let's play. So I already know a little bit about the game. I went through the achievement list and picked out, you know, and just just noticed a few of the achievements so I, I knew some specific things I need to do to earn the achievements in the game. Uh, as, I mean, as far as the, the, the uh, character customization goes, really, has no significant impact on the game other than the class selection. I think I'll give him some bright pink pants. And uh, we'll give him a black eye too, why not? But definitely, definitely not glasses. Okay, so this is South Park, The Stick of Truth. Uh, it was published by Ubisoft, who you guys obviously know is published games like Assassin's Creed and a multitude of other games, popular games. And it was developed by Obsidian, which is the company that made Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Uh, Fallout New Vegas, Fallout, you know, the Fallout series is well, one I think of my that's favorite everything. series. We did it, hun. So We're really I bought this game in. and pre-ordered it with beginning for us. high hopes. Things are so, finally going to be good. So far, I really, really like what I see. It, be it might be one of the funniest him? games I've ever played. And uh, the, they won't the look combat here. is we just need to make I mean, sure it's he RPG turn-based style, but Come on. it has uh, doing. like an RPG Mario. Sweetie, type of combat where you, dressed? you know, time button pushes to to block or to hey, champ. to How do you like have your better new attacks. Room? Uh, this is I know the new guy. The new us, guy is the character son, you play as. Do you remember and you basically have the opportunity to, to interact with all the characters in South Park, the TV show. He doesn't remember. He doesn't remember and at all. And to explore good, good, South Park and your whim. Uh, at this Sweetie, point in the game, we want you to have certain paths are going to be blocked Why until you, you progress further into the game. Right, get there's outside a lot of junk play, to pick son. up, like, and like normal kids. I personally like to grab everything I can counter, because Sweetie. that way be I don't have to backtrack dark. for stuff, and I have stuff to sell to yeah, buy upgrades we love you and too. all that stuff. I mean, it is an RPG in the way that the way you earn XP in combat and by completing quests and side quests. And that's how you're gonna 
upgrade your character's perks and uh, abilities throughout the game. So yeah, this is uh, pretty much this is going to be the tutorial. That's the toy chest, and hopefully uh, the DLC I got from pre-ordering the game is going to be in there at some point. Uh, you hold down B, you move a little faster, and all that. These are these are basically the mini chests. There's these backpacks you find throughout the game. They hold some loot, and uh, but there's definitely there's bigger and better chests with bigger and better loot that uh, you'll see pretty shortly. So let's let's get out of this room. It's pretty interactive. I mean, you pretty much can go where you please and the animation is absolutely fantastic it's I mean you're basically playing the 18th season of South Park I mean every time he knocks stuff over and breaks stuff he has another chance to pick stuff up but I'm not sure of how useful that stuff is gonna be in the game so I mean even by doing that I get this this loop which is fantastic, in my opinion. Uh, I know there's actually an achievement for throwing that at an enemy, so that's most likely where that shit nugget will be going in the future. It's a locked room. It's the basement, which is, strangely enough, cannot be accessed. I don't know if it'll be accessed later on in the game, but there's no icon indicating that I will be able to access that at some point. This is the new guy's mom. Let me know if you guys think I should spend a little more time going through the loot I pick up in every every chest and every drawer. Go on outside. This is the new sweetie. guy's mom. She wants me to go out and make some friends. Just found some money on the ground. Go look around the neighborhood. I mean, I don't, I don't really see how a fan of South Park could not love this game. I mean, it's like it a, wasn't a request; it was a command. To, now get out there and make some friends early. Uh, I mean, from what I've seen so far, there's a ton of collectibles all over the place. A lot of hidden areas, a lot of hidden loot. Combat has been generally fun. I mean, uh, basically, I'm just pretty excited to continue playing this game. See, that's gonna be a. But it's a it's like a mid-range chest right there. I mean, you call it a chest. It's a duffel bag or a backpack or whatever. But that's gonna have mid-grade loot. When I get when I have a weapon, I'll be able to break this snowbank and grab it. But for now, we're just gonna head down. Uh, can't go this way because I can't break that yet. Just cause we're, we're gonna go see Eric Cartman, and his house is gonna be a little further down the street. That's funny, but this is probably one of my favorite characters from the show. Hey, no fair! That's cheating! I'm gonna tell my mom. Thanks, kid. I didn't realize he had a health potion. But my name is Butters the Merciful. I'm a paladin. I live right next door to you. We should be friends. <laughs> so Butters is the first friend you get in the game. Uh, the inventory and basically the pause system in the game is organized like a Facebook friend list. At least the home part is. You know, and then you're able to go through your inventory, the quest list. The map. The map is very intuitive. It is a, from what I see, it's a wicked accurate depiction of South Park. And and here we have all the collectibles. There's, you can become friends with all the main characters in South Park from what I've seen so far. There's a huge list of Chin Pokemon dolls to find. And a huge, huge list of equipment to find. So this is absolutely going to be a lot of content Get it with in this game. You should speak with the Wizard King. He's been talking about your arrival. The wizard lives this way, in the greenhouse, over there. So I accepted Butters as a friend. Hey, where are you from? Uh, we're going to follow him over to Carmen's house. Where'd you live before moving here? Can't really do much at this point in the game. It's just pretty much the tutorial. Is that Colorado? Why are you wearing your hair like that? <clears throat> All hail the Grand 
wizard! So, you are the new kid. Your coming was foretold by a Coldwell Banker. I am the Wizard King. But the time for talk is not now. Let me show you my kingdom. Oh, who's your new friend, Eric? Shut up, Mom. Not now. That's Cartman's garage key I just grabbed. And there is an achievement in this game for opening every garage in the game. I know if you stand here and listen to the TV close enough, you can hear shows and commercials that have been. Don't talk in to her, she's not part of the game. So, yeah. Welcome to the kingdom of Koopa Keep. Koopa Keep. Super Mario reference, I believe. Our weapon shop here is tended by Clyde, a level 14 warrior. Yeah, for a level 14 here you can warrior, see our massive Clyde stables, really isn't Overseen that great. by the level 9 ranger, Scott Malkinson, who has the power of diabetes. Scott, on the other hand, is And here, of course, is the breathtaking and lovely Princess Kinney, the fairest maiden in all the kingdom. Don't ask why Kinney wanted to be a chick, it's just how he seems to be rolling right now. Hilarious. Be careful, the Rock of Insanity holds mysterious powers. Okay, you're insane insane now. If you want to be healed, you must gaze at the Rock again. I don't think I will. My whole thing is as incurable as my diabetes. So, I mean, I don't really... Okay, you press select to get straight to the home screen. That's good, because before I kept going to the item list. Here is a daffodil, which is actually a side quest. Which is fantastic, I was able to figure out. Can't break anything without a weapon. Pretty much just gotta proceed in the game. You may have heard but of my deeds we'll at the Battle Clyde, of Stark's Pod. Clyde and I are not gonna be friends much longer. And I don't know if after this forthcoming scene if I still have the opportunity to ah, you have located by. the training area where our there massive is an achievement for I know it is a massive kingdom but you'll learn to find your way around as court paladin my job is to deliver the wizard king's justice and his mail <laughs> gonna complete the side quest for Kenny real quick give him the daffodil and I believe by doing that that's how you become friends with Kenny Kenny is also one of my favorite characters from the show. You have been right, sought out, new kid, the because humans everywhere Like I said before, this is the prologue, the tutorial, and in return, or what have you. I am prepared to allow you into my kingdom. I know you are very and, uh, excited. Pretty much, there's it's a, there's a battle quest, tutorial friends, coming up after this, and then the bulk of the game will start with a quest to grab three more warriors. <clears throat> Just tell you now that uh, pretty much doesn't matter what you pick here. You entered Douchebag, is that correct? Are you sure you want to keep the name Douchebag? And there is an achievement for just accepting the, the name Douchebag. So if you're an achievement whore like I am, you might as well just select yes now. Very well, Douchebag. You will now choose a class. Fighter, mage, thief, or Jew. Okay, in my like original playthrough, I picked a fighter, fighter courage, just because I and the figured it would be the more generic ass. class. But from the other reviews I've read online, there isn't a huge difference between classes a mage in the is way like a wizard, only not as that there aren't really class-specific equipment in the game. Uh, a mage can equip a fighter's sword, and a fighter can equip a staff at some point in the game. But has courage, upon honor, going through the achievement to list, like I found an achievement Jew, huh? that can so only be we'll accessed really be by playing as the Jew. So, I'm gonna choose the Jew, so I can grab that achievement when the time comes. And I think playing as the Jew will be funny too. Welcome to the KKK douchebag the Jew, who probably can also handle our finances. Hooray! <laughs> now please, go and visit the weapon shop. And hopefully Procure I'll get other jokes like that that I didn't get on my original playthrough. That's hilarious that he's wearing a yarmulke now. <laughs> As court paladin, my job is to deliver the wizard. Would you like to see my wares, weary traveler? Perhaps you would like to hear tips and rumors for two dollars? 
Uh, if you pick tips and rumors, he's just gonna tell you the, the tip. Don't pay for tips and rumors. So don't waste the two bucks. The only thing you're allowed to don't buy at this point in the game, game to be played. is this. So it's gonna be your class's primary weapon. So don't even waste your time cycling through the other equipment. Unless you just want to see what's in store ahead in the game. Ah, a lovely purchase. Okay, use left on the D-pad to go straight to your inventory screen. And I believe every character will have stuff here now. I don't think it's just because of the DLC that the game came with. So, just go to the inventory screen, equip your weapon, equip all the basic stuff that you can. I think I'm going to take that off. Oh, well, I guess there's a stat buff for equipping it, so I'll keep it for now until something better comes along. And I don't have any other options for these for this pieces of equipment, so I'll just hold on to what I have on for now. Now, there is two different achievements. One is for selling more than 300 pieces of jump in, junk <clears throat> in the game, and the other achievement is for not selling any. So you need to decide right away which achievement you're going to go through and whether or not you're going to replay the game when it's done. Uh, I think I'm going to put on the Adelac, especially because he's got the black eye going on too. And of course he can have the evil Cartman goatee. Keeping on the goatee until the first boss fight is an important way to get an achievement, uh, which I will go into more detail before it comes along, probably, probably about an hour into the game depending on how much time you spend gathering collectibles and exploring this, the town. Ah, you have procured a weapon. Nice. It's now time to teach you how to fight. I want you to take your new weapon and, with the bravery of a noble knight, beat up Clyde. What? Kick Clyde's ass, new kid. What I do? I'm the king, Clyde, and the king wishes to be amused. Go on, new kid, kick his ass. All right, so this is a very basic combat tutorial. Like you have to wait your turn. It just basically That's goes late. over how no, Clyde, you, it's like olden time. you have to wait your turn. Your, like in the Middle Ages time. I know it's lame, Clyde, right but that's how we're fucking doing it. Now, right after right, this, there'll be a Clyde's more facing. extensive be tutorial showing you how to use the different abilities and so forth. <laughs> oh, hell yeah, Clyde's your bitch. All right, Clyde's wearing armor. In order to hurt him, I want you to hit Clyde as hard as you can. And since I tapped A when my staff lit up, I got a better attack. And if you do X at the same time, you get a super power attack. Ah! Oh shit, dude, I think I see blood. Fucking nice, bro. It's exactly what you do to guys with armor like that. Okay, listen up. The key to surviving in battle is not to get hit in the bouts. Clyde, it's and you do the same thing when you get attacked. When he strikes at me, there'll be an icon underneath my character. And when you see that, you tap Prepare it yourself. Block. <laughs> yeah, that's there's an achievement for a hundred successful blocks that I got probably an hour into the game. And there's another one for a hundred perfect attacks that I haven't I'm yet to get. Alright, it's time to use your heroic powers. Using your ability takes power points, or PP for short. <laughs> PP. <laughs> if you have a fucking better name for them, then fucking say it, Clyde! Fucking asshole! I'm the king and I say it's PP! PP. Douchebag, use PP. your Jew ability to make Clyde pay for insulting the king. We're gonna make Clyde pay now. The Sling of David. I mean, I really gotta give it to the developers and Trey Parker Come and on, that fight. stone. This game is hilarious. The thought that went into the names of the equipment and all the details and the dialogue so far has just been so, so funny. So, I mean, I really haven't done this before, but we'll see how it goes. Dude, that was pretty lame. Try it again, dude. Wow. So I guess I'm not really sure exactly what time to let it go. Ah! Alright, no, so you have one you have some chance kind of problem to with throw authority? Do what I told you. Use That's your it. authority. Right when that right when it makes that sound is when you gotta let it go. Or or pretty close at least. Sick! Okay, I like that. I definitely like that as that. It looks a little more effective than what I saw from the fighter. Take this. Critical hit. All right. 
I'm out of PP, so back to the staff. I'm gonna use a power attack. Didn't count. Smash Clyde. That's a wrap. Ah. Oh, he got he got in there. <laughs> if you successfully block every attack, then you get a chance to counter attack. And if you time that right, Dude, that awesome. you get an extra You're 10 points of damage at this point in the game. So it's definitely worth okay, okay. remembering the counter attack bag. right after now your attack. Now come inside the war tent and I shall let you see the relic. Would you like to see my wares, weary traveler? Perhaps you would like to... Alright, so everything's still locked. I'm just gonna proceed with the game. I don't think that there's oh, any uh, really huh? collectibles to grab back here, really, besides that daffodil that I gave to Kenny. Well, here it is. The reason why humans I mean, and elves are locked how the in a never ending war. Look exactly the relic like the game. for which human and elf are willing to die. For the show, I mean. The stick of truth. Just two days ago, we took the stick I, back I from the earth. Think this game will go dying, down as one of the most funniest the games stick, ever made. The universe. Don't gaze at it too long. For it's so easy. There are really not too many funny games out there. Now that you have seen the stick of truth, let's discuss your dues. Being a member of my kingdom costs nine ninety five for the first week. Four dollars of which is tax deductible. Alarm! 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 Someone has sounded the alarm. Oh, alarm, 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 alarm. It's so great. What is it? The elves are attacking. Oh my God! Defensive position. Alarm! 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 Let's check out the stick. Whoa! What just happened. All right, that was a little glitch, but you know, I thought it was funny. Carmen said something might happen if you gaze upon the stick for too long. So I spent about five minutes in my original playthrough just looking at the stick to see if anything would happen. But I think it's fair to say that nothing will happen either way. So now that he's got a weapon, he can knock stuff over, pick stuff up. There's a map. I'm not sure what the map represents at this point in the game. And because, I mean, I knocked over that stack of magazines and I got a piece of crumpled paper. I think it's worthless. It's just more junk to clutter up your inventory. But at this point, I haven't seen a, a reason why the inventory is a bad thing because I don't believe there's an inventory limit. All right, so this is going to be the first room. chance for Give real combat in the game, even Sunday though it spends trial. most of the time Come helping you along. There's the probably no I, uh, way to actually I, lose I, I, these next few battles. And this by the end of these battles, you'll be you'll Hold pretty much have the basics of combat down. Son of a biscuit! Jesus Christ! We go here and save the cat. Now, you want to make sure you get the first hit in. Use X or the PlayStation would be square. And then Do that it, way you get a strike. Yeah. Or in this case, I did it. Yeah, I'm wrong about that. But I think in the regular game for non-boss fights, if you use okay, so he, he got hit because it wanted me to use the potion. So I don't think there was a chance for me to block that. Come on, fight! Just trying to teach you how to use items. We'll say you can have one potion every turn. I asked for five, but this was compromised. This guy's fast, douchebag. Try to block all his attacks. Suck my balls. Uh, well, this job doesn't work out. At least you've got a future as a training dummy. Attack. Come on, get it right. Take this. I said block, not and get nailed again, by. Not Maybe I wasn't clear. Try again. So, I mean, getting the timing perfect is not really that easy. And that's why I'm... Decided that the game I said isn't that not simple. Nailed by. Maybe I wasn't clear. I mean, Try I want it to be fun, but I also want it to be a challenge. And so far, it showed me that. It's <laughs> okay, if you block all the attacks, you get a counter attack. Look at your enemy on the ground, weak and helpless. Kick the shit out of him. Awesome, you kick the helpless ass. And I think you get that one finish counter attack. Elves in the I name of the Wizard King. Chain attacks like you are on a regular attack. Ah! Alright, I'm going to take out the archer, because if you get hit by an arrow, it causes you to bleed, and then you're getting drained of your health. Great job, douchebag! That can hurt! And now we have the bow. Ah. The bow you use Kick throughout the game, even I when you're you not back. in combat. Uh. 
swear to God, Scott, yeah. he's fighting like a pussy. I'll All right, so there's a way to fart on dead enemies, and there's another yeah. achievement for farting on ten, or maybe a hundred dead enemies. I suppose you probably can't do it yet at this point in the game. Oh, great, Carmen's got some pieces of money hidden everywhere. But I'm not really sure what the control is for uh Connor. He's actually doing it by accident in the first place. So we'll go over here and save this guy. Uh, Scott. You got this, right, so when an archer's lined up behind another attacker, you're not gonna be able to attack Take people this. in the back row. What are you waiting for, douchebag? That guy's just standing there. Go kick his ass. <laughs> oh man, he was totally waiting for you, dude. Okay, so you can't I knew like that you can't attack somebody using a repost head on. That's you need again to try a different tactic to damage him. Tutorial. Look at that archer hiding behind his friend like a wood. Switch to your arrow, douchebag. Snipe that little bitch. Sweet, now you can hit the guy in the back. Go for the pink mist. Yeah, bitch, that's what you get for fucking with the Wizard King. Careful, douchebag. That guy's ready for your arrows now. You gotta try something else. Okay, so I mean, the basics is reflect is gonna reflect your arrows, and repost is gonna repel your fun attacks. But the abilities You're not waiting on me, are, you? are not able to be blocked, so they're always gonna be. Ah. Great job, douchebag! I mean, as you can see, most loot chests are going to have a little bit of cash, maybe a potion or two, two or two great potions, and junk. And the junk can be sold for extra cash. Most of the, uh, of the junk is going to be an inside joke. I'm, I myself am not a huge cell phone fan, so I don't expect to be able to get all the jokes, but I think I'll be alright. Let's do this, douchebag. Okay, that guy has a shield. Shields are super weak. Just hit them with your simplest hit over and over to wear them down quickly. <laughs> Hell yeah, that's how you do it. The other elf let his guard down. Now's your chance. Power attack his armor. That's it! Now finish him! Now! Gotta catch them all, right? Drow elves, fall back! Fall back, I say! Awesome, dude! Take that, you asshole elves! Better luck next time! Na, 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 na. We still control the universe! <laughs> it's God. What? The stick of truth. The elves got it. That was your one goddamn job, Clyde! To guard the stick of fucking truth! Clyde? You are hereby banished from space and time! What? No! You can't do that. Yeah, I can. You're banished and lost in time and space. Yeah, go home, Clyde. You fought bravely on the battlefield, Yeah, <laughs> 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 You can make a so huge bag like sure can't die. Shut up, Scott. Nobody cares what you think. Anyways, we have a bigger Nobody problem now. The stick of truth has been stolen, and we must assemble our entire army in order to get it back. But our three best warriors still haven't reported for duty, my king. Our newest member can take care of that. Douchebag, I want you to go out into the neighborhood and find my greatest warriors, Token, Tweak, and Craig. I'm texting their pictures to your personal inventory device now. But beware. The lands outside are full of marauding drow elves, monsters, and sixth graders. Be sure you're well equipped. Okay, so now I go. know who Token and Sneak are. Here. I'm not really familiar with Craig. But anyway, I, go with him. I know my map will be set up to show me waypoints and stuff like that. This is the fast travel station. There's another quest. 
for finding them all side quest. Uh, it's run by Timmy. Timmy's hilarious. What you? You want me to fight with you? Okay, this paladin is ready to kick your ass. Definitely gotta take butters with you. I'm not sure if you don't talk to him, if uh, if he'll come along for the ride. But make sure you do, cause you're absolutely gonna need a character backing you up. Ow! Cat stables. I think I pretty much found all the loot laying around here. Nothing too great. Nothing worth spending a lot of time grabbing. This is uh, to hit stuff in the environment. You hold down the left trigger and then fire with the right trigger. This is how you're going to find a lot of hidden stuff. Uh, ladders that you can drop with an arrow. Chests that can be reached by knocking something over. Stuff like that. And then basically just to break stuff as well. Kids begin. My Eric certainly has a lot of little playmates. He's such a friendly boy. All right, so I'm gonna just ransack Cartman's house. I've had my problems sure raising grab, Eric, uh, but somehow he all everything I can before I take off. Make sure I accept Mrs. Cartman's friend request. And uh, go to, I'm gonna go to my abilities. I have an upgraded ability available, so I'm gonna upgrade the Star of da Sling of David. Yeah, I think that'll be the best option for now. I might, I might go right away just to upgrade this all the way before I spend any of my points on anything else. Uh, this is the perks. Perks you get by befriending characters in South Park. So it's really more than just a side quest. You really should be doing it just to make sure that you get as many of these perks as possible. Because from what I've seen, and I mean obviously they're pretty effective perks. Definitely going to help the combat. Always maybe. forgives me. Yeah, fuck your shit up. <laughs> That's not really that nice. But is is hilarious. No, I don't know about that. All right. That's where Silver Park draws the line, apparently. But I mean, really, the, the environment is a lot more interactive than I thought it would be, considering it's a drawn game like Silver Park, like the show. This is the king's room. Another I don't side think we're supposed to be in here. What exactly I are you looking gonna for? I'm going to grab my first pair of underwear in Carmen's room. I'm sure that's a lot of inside jokes in there, but... Well, Eric has a lot of cool stuff. Polly Prissy Pants. She has a dialogue option. That's very nice. Sea monkeys. All right, so I don't know. Here's the first pair of underwear. Uh, it's gonna say one of five, so there's obviously five of them in the game to grab. This is Carmen's mother's room. This is uh, where the magic is. Uh, Last week, Carmen's mom was here with a few men having a whole lot of magic. A huge doing hand magic and butt magic. A uh, jar of lube. Obviously, she's utterly disgusting. Crack pipe. Fantastic. Okay, see, so yeah, I actually wasn't aware that you can change the color of your inventory items. That's really great. I really do like that. Alright, so I do believe that's going to be pretty much everything there is to grab. Anything important, at least, in the Cartman household. I'm sure you didn't mean to do that. This is where Karma does magic. 
spiders. Oh, it smells like the wizard is brewing some potion in here. Some wizard stew. Oh, looks like he forgot the I don't think you really stuff. find anything too great by breaking stuff. You really don't have to spend any time knocking all this stuff over. And now I'm going to make another poop. Because I'm, I'm not really sure what the point of them is. I don't know if it's just a dumb joke or if there's going to be an effective reason to have them at some point in the game. I do know that there is an achievement for slinging the poop. Your, your own character's poop at an enemy. But that's a very simple achievement to get. If it splashes, it means you get a free wish. Free wish. I think it made a splash. Alright. So that is going to be it for part one of my South Park Let's Play. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Please, please, please feel free to hit the like button. Uh, if you're enjoying this, subscribe. There's going to be lots more to come. Uh, planning on doing a full South Park playthrough. And then next week is going to be Dark Souls 2. Uh, if I finish South Park, I can work on Strider, anything. Uh, I'll take any suggestions. I'm, I'm ready and willing to play any games I can get up my hands on. So, I hope you guys are enjoying this. Thank you for your time, and please continue to watch. Alright, turn it off.